Good evening, Shan Heron at The Easiest Swing. So in this video today, I'm going to share with you how I practice The Easiest Swing on the driving range. And you'll see it's a far cry away from how most you'll find most people practicing on the driving range, where they just get so absorbed in positions and technical detail. So, how I start is, of course, I will start with the dance because the dance helps to remind me of the six basics. I'm turning, I'm shifting my weight, I'm balanced, I'm coordinated, I have rhythm, and there is souplesse. I'm relaxed. From the dance, I might start to swing my legs a little bit. And if you've read Brian's book, you'll know this exercise well, the swinging legs exercise. I can't emphasize how powerful this simple exercise is. Because just as I mentioned, la dance helps to remind me of the six basics. The swinging legs helps me to implement those six basics during the swing. So when I'm actually hitting the ball, in order to do it successfully with the swinging legs exercise, all those six basics have to be in place. Now there's one more thing you'll notice when I start to hit the ball, is that I'm going to make some very slow swings. And as I mentioned in a previous video called the laziest swing in golf, the laziest lob shot in golf, the slower we make our movements, the higher our awareness becomes. It's all about becoming aware of what we're doing with the tool in our hands. And you can see I'm using the driver because the driver gives me the absolute truth. That club face, if it's slightly open or closed, will cause the ball to go right or left. So as well as becoming aware of the position of the club face at impact and during the swing, I, with, with the slow movement, I can tune in to the angle of the club shaft as well as the position of the club head during the golf swing. So the combination now of doing the swinging legs with the slow movement means that my awareness is very high and I'm focused on implementing the six basics. So let's hit a couple of shots. So that ball landed about a hundred meters straight down the middle and ran out to about 150 meters. And again, straight down the middle, that one landed about 80 meters and ran out to about 120. And again, straight down the middle, that landed about 60 meters, 50 or 60 meters, and ran out to about 110. So now I might try one without the swinging legs, just to see if I can hit the same kind of shot. And again, straight down the middle. So I'll start to build it from here. Build the, the tempo, the speed of the swing, not by so much. 
and you'll notice how I might hold my finish because when I hold my finish my brain immediately starts to reflect on the movement that I've just done and helps me to to focus in on I want to focus in on what my hands felt like during the swing it's important to put our attention on the hands because our hands are the only link to the tool in our hands so the hands uh, uh, will give me the biggest amount of feedback to what the tool is doing during the swing And again pretty straight I mean these are all going within a range of about 20 to 30 meters if the fairway was 20 to 30 meters wide these are all staying on the fairway so I'm gonna try and simulate the feeling in my hands as I do the swinging legs exercise but this time I'm just going to allow my heels to come off the ground staying very very relaxed really important to stay relaxed and supple because then my hands can get the greatest amount of feedback I have the greatest amount of feel then to what I'm actually doing And a lovely shot down the middle so I'm just going to move the camera to the side so you can also get a picture down the line Again, straight down the middle. So you see all this movement and still I'm managing to hit the ball in the middle of the club face and straight. What bullshit have we been sold over the last 50 years about the golf swing? about staying static and still and keeping the head still and keeping the left heel planted you know how many times when you've missed the ball when you're out playing with your friends have you been told it's because you move too much what a load of trollop again not the best contact but straight and I'm very 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 relaxed my grip pressure is about 2 out of 10 10 being really really tight and 1 being super super relaxed like holding a baby bird I'm about 2 and this gives me massive feedback in my hands And again holding the finish for the reflection my 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 brain my mind goes straight into my hands what did it feel like okay for a slower swing absolutely as straight as an arrow as straight as a slow arrow the power of this swinging legs exercise cannot be overemphasized I have to say Brian is a bit of a genius let's just do another slow one and this time just lifting my heels And 
again straight down the middle pitched in the air about a hundred 110 meters running out to about 140 meters and then I'll just build up the speed a bit trying to keep the six basics and that's pitching about 175 meters quite difficult when you hit a, 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 a big swing to uh, swing through so what I like to do is just hold my finish so I'll just switch from one to the other back and forth and you can see how playful I'm being how dynamic this practice session is not like you see other golfers thinking of this and ticking off all the boxes and then most of most of the time hitting a bad shot you can imagine how crazy this looks to them so let's see if I can start to simulate that feeling without lifting my legs and just allowing my heels to come off the ground and that was a peach so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I would encourage you to go out and try this kind of dynamic practice doesn't it look like it's much 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 more fun if you've enjoyed this video please share it with your friends as we say at the easiest swing play it live it share it by all means come to my orca for one of my workshops uh, and I also am available for online coaching so if you're on the other side of the world for example and you you can't quite make it here this year then uh, send me an email and we'll see what we'll see what we can do all the best until the next video